Who's been to a panto this um, season? Yeah. Oh no, we haven't. Oh yes, we have. Yeah, all that. <laughs> uh, I think at some point in our lives, we've all been in one of those little community halls, haven't we? One of those little, you know, and. Uh, um, I run a thing called Weaving Words, and that's um, I'm usually running Weaving Words on a Wednesday night, um, but we don't start till next week, so I thought I'd come and support you tonight, and I thought it'd be nice to share some stuff. And, um, yeah, we were talking about panto characters and things like that, and this is called Amdram Panto. A fusty church hall, background smell of stage fright, bustling preparations, rhubarb whisperings, line prompters seated ready for the night. Dressing up, curtains up, it's that time of year again. Oh no it isn't, oh yes it is. Familiar traditional refrain. Grease paint, spotlights, wigs piled high, lacy bloomers, stripy colourful socks. Garishly made up men as ugly sisters, multi-use hand painted backdrops. Swashbuckling belts and long boots, the Lee boy couldn't look finer. Her dashing good looks, romance guaranteed, thigh slaps, innuendos, one-liners. Hissing, cooing and booing baddies behind you, children's laughter. Swag bags and leather, songs sung together, and they all live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where's your wings? The last time I was here, I was in full um, fairy mode. And uh, actually, over December, I've been a fairy with wings for a lot of things. Um, granting wishes and Christmas ado's and all sorts of things. And uh, oh, here's another poet on our hands. And uh, at one point, I was dressed full bling poetry um, fairy. And there were some children from age five to ten. I was sprinkling glitter, I had a dog licking my leg and a kid that said, I want the toilet, all at the same time. Honestly, <laughs> obviously there's a poem in there. <laughs> Anywho, I would like you now to think, or imagine I've got my wings on to start off with. I want you to think of three wishes. Have you got those three wishes in your head? Because it's the new year and I'm going to grant you those three wishes. Are you ready? I'm the fairy of life. I've come to grant you three wishes. Think carefully. Think hard. Dig deep. Life's wonderfully delicious. Something pops in your head. Oh, to be a stone lighter. But if I click my fingers now, would your life actually be brighter? Holidays, cocktails, lying by the pool, by the latest gadget telly. Eat out more. Damn, I've lost my last wish as I look down at my belly. Oh, to have her right now, that girl with a great bust. What happens then after that moment of lust? A big house, a fast car, roof down, shades, cool guy. But to get where faster? And exactly why? I'm the fairy of life. I've come to sprinkle some magic. Be careful what you wish for. Lives may become tragic. Health, wealth and happiness. You throw me that easy cliche. Look inside you. What fills you? What's important to you each day? Do you wish for more money? It sometimes means strife. How many possessions do we need? Do they stress free your life? What you want, what you need and are they the same? You can't take it with you, so what's there to gain? We're busy buzzing about chasing that money while missing our blessings and life's God-given honey. As the fairy of life, I see your talents. Start giving. Steer to that high on life feeling and really start living. As the fairy of life, I see your talents and start giving, make a difference in a good way. And start with love, hugs and kisses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.